Maybe now that other area opens up. Back at that uh, save point with the big circle. I can make another hammer. This one's different. If Al gets one, he can get in, join in on the fun. Back in the village square, oh, there's people this time. Ed, I see people up ahead. You're right, we're in luck. Good to know we've got some survivors. Unless they turn into dark people too. Hey, are you guys all right? <laughs> Help me. Boy, are we glad to see you guys. No need to worry. You're back in safe hands. Ed, let's see who needs help. Are you okay? Can you walk? Help me. <sighs> huh? What's the matter? Can't move? I don't blame you. We were nearly scared stiff too. No need to be frightened anymore. Come on, let's... Boys, get away from them! Now! Huh? Lieutenant? What are you... Please... Help... But they're asking for our help, Lieutenant! We can't leave them! Do it now! What the... Lieutenant! What's gotten into you? Kill... humans... <laughs> First I channel Sky's luck, now PM's calling things in an anime. <laughs> the power of social linking is strong with me today. Thou art I, and I am thou. Time to bring this hammer upon thy brow. Give me that XP. Thank you. That's exactly what this is for. Uh, going by the game so far, all the cats have been in like non-enemy filled areas, so... My guess is either it's gonna be here again or back at the burning house, but seeing as how there's enemies now... Oh, he's down. I got you. 36. Damn, that's good. So these monsters really can transform into humans. And just when we thought we'd found survivors, they turned out to be more of those things in the skies. You saved our lives, Lieutenant. Yeah, that was too close for comfort. But how did you know, Lieutenant? How could you tell those people were monsters? Chalk it up to intuition. A gut feeling, if you will. Gut feeling, huh? I remember the same kind of reaction when I first saw Scar. Um, in your case, Ed, I think it's more like an acquired sense from all that brawling, or even an animal instinct. Who are you calling an animal? Perhaps mine is an acquired sense as well, one that's been embedded in me as a soldier. It's useless to civilians, but a necessity for me, so I can protect those I care about. Uh, Lieutenant? Let's go. There's no time to waste. I'm sure someone weirdly ships that, now knowing Winry. Then again, there are those people who ship Al and Ed together, and that's... just wanted to head out and back in to see if the enemies would disappear. So the guy will be right in the middle there. Alright, there's a save point. The other area seemed to have opened up. Yeah, this was blocked. This was the one that was blocked before. East Road. Oh, we got this. Don't want to lose my hammer. Much more what I got here. This might be good for the heavies. Wait, I got another one. 
actually do? Just hit him with the whatchacallit? Oh no, I can be hit by it. Shit, I'm getting generated. Aw, oh, great, these things. Mr. Still dropping whatchacallits. You were. It was just those separate enemies in that one spot. Yeah, I already called the PM thing. Maybe it's only uh, one active social link thing at a time. Mountain Pass. Oop. Oh. Rolled, rolled. Even though they had the steamroller earlier. Yeah, the wheels of steamroller anyway. Oh, jeez. This is bad because I can't get. I can't stun him. Things I do for the experience. for other enemies, these are... Any more around? Treasure, I mean. Let me go with this, 70, 80. We got 100, baby! 120, 123! Basically killing another one of those for free. That's not best so far. Jesus! You RKO'd my ass. Not literally, just the whole out of nowhere thing. That's the joke I was trying to make. Ah, you go through this quick, man. Maybe they nerfed you in this game. I don't know if you took anybody out with it, you might have gotten combos in, but... You and a weapon, you were an absolute terror game one. Red loincloth, I think that's the thing that uh, makes Al aggressive on his own, but we got the Witcher Call it Cat to do it as well, so... Does equipping both double that? It turns Al into a killing machine. Anyway, out here in the outskirts, this doesn't have enemies in it, so... There's an empty house. Still standing after all this, though. Well, it's got scratches, but... Compared to everything else we've seen! Hey, look at this house. This far away from the village? It's not in very good shape. But nothing's broken. Maybe this place was too far away for the monsters to find. Maybe someone's still inside. It's possible. Let's go in and have a look. I saw the treasure. I want to get that first if I can. Uh, just a medium. Kitty cat, you here? Wait, what's inside the house? The secluded house, that is. No one in here either. Oh, I see a shiny. Bullet of Faith. Increased firearm damage dealt by 15%. Lieutenant Hawkeye's good luck charms. Aw. How nice of you. Nothing in that corner. Safe point in there. All this to look through and see. Hello? Anybody home? Stupid question, I guess. Either they already escaped, or... Ed, come look at this picture. What the hell? These are the same as those monsters, don't you think? It's not just that picture. All the books in here seem to be about those creatures. This is some heavy-duty research material we have here. Monster research? You don't think the person living here created them? No, I wouldn't say that. I don't see any books on alchemy or the Crimson Stone lying around. I think the research wasn't so much about making the monsters, more about their roots, or ancient history. Monster history? In any case, we should see if we can find any additional clues inside this house. More investigating. Oh, hello. 
Golems Overview. Oh, so that's what they are. Creation of the Grand Arcanum of Lebus, originally intended to be used as slaves. Primary ingredient was soil, making a golem's body as black as lead. They seem to possess a certain level of intelligence with an ability to grasp basic human speech. There's another one over here. There's a sick point over there. Golem's characteristics. Different types could be made for various applications. Life of Golem could last for a few hours to several years, however the Golem would eventually revert back to soil. The Ring of Levis. This ring with certified kingship was passed down through the generations of Levis's royalty. Passed down through generations! Ornamented with distinct patterns and ancient... Oh... So possibly that ring they gave us that we got earlier with the transmutation circle inside of it. Look at the science of the dead and grand arcana more employed by its creation. Ring function as a key to the palace. That sounds like a spot for the final level of the game to me. Let's use this as a save point. Oh no, this thing's locked. Let's look around a little more. There might be other useful references lying around. Look out for Mr. Kid. Oh, we got this again. Over here, Al. Coming. Maybe he's up here like he was in the library of the what you call it, Journeyman's Guide. That's probably for more experience. So we got the achievement guide here. Let's be putting that on. Journeyman's Guide. 10%. Yeah, boost my ass. Yeah, there we go. Cool. We're getting that even faster now. Oh, hello. I guess I'm supposed to take that up the normal way. I'm gonna stop there. This one. The Civilization of Lebus. An ancient civilization which flourished almost 5,000 years ago with the royal capital of Siam Sid as its center. Its glory lasted over a millennium. Lebus's royalty created golems through the Grand Arcanum, resulted in the civilization's rapid development. Whoop, hello. Over here. The Grand Arcanum of Lebus. Prosperity was a direct result of the Grand Arcanum, which enabled the creation of golems. Made for advances in the cultures, architecture, military, waterworks, and agriculture. Ironically, it was the same Grand Arcanum that brought this glory to a sudden and tragic end. There's one more up here, it seemed. That's the what you call it. Is that all, though? Or is it both corners? Nope, this corner does have a large uh, elixir, though. Still no Mr. Kitty. Look at this one. This isn't a reference book. It's a diary. It looks awfully old. I wonder if it belongs to whoever lives here. My studies on Lebus begin today. The road ahead may be long, but I hope to make archaeological history through my findings. I mess up a little bit. Met a traveling alchemist interested in Lebus's arcane art of golems, he says. Never seen a man with eyes more determined and sad, really. On the road with the alchemist Crowley, his stories are fascinating, for I have no knowledge of the alchemical practice. He finally told me why he's so interested in the golems. Now I know what he hides behind those sad eyes of his. We've solved the mystery behind the arcane art of golems these findings should prove relevant to not only archaeology, but to alchemy as well. Find happiness for Crowley for me, and for her. Is that the way you wanted it? Is that really what you were looking for? Step out of it, Crowley. Look, this picture was stuck between the pages. It looks as old as the diary. Do you think the guy in the picture is the owner of this house? Well, there's no way of knowing for certain. But we'll go on that assumption for now. Ed, did you hear that? That came from right outside! Those gunshots. Somebody's putting up a fight. We're going, boys. Hurry. Now that door is open. 
And this safe point is here. We'll find out what... Oh! Guess we're doing this now. Or I could just walk back and, uh... <laughs> I got too close again. See, it happened. It's Lieutenant Havoc! There's someone next to him, too. Rescuing the civilian takes priority. I'll draw the monster's attention, so Edward, you and Alphonse... Nah, we're taking out that beast! You look after those two, Lieutenant. It's clobbering time, Al! What? W wait a minute! <laughs> Boys! Hey! Haven't you heard size doesn't matter, you big ugly pile? Get over here, and I'll show you what I mean! Looks like he got its attention, Ed. Clearly I've wandered into, yup, an accidental boss fight. Hmm. Oh, I see. It's the pestilence. I take these eggs, turn them into shit. Oh, before that happens. Oh, never mind. Jeez. Oh my god! Uh, and why are the mouse not doing shit? I can't alchemize anything. Let me heal after this. Ooh, that did nothing. Ooh, that did nothing. Why did that do nothing? My under leveled. Possibly. I was expecting to run in this so early. Ooh! Stone Spikes fuck him up, though. Okay, that was good. Okay, do this. Look at these gauntlets. That I just completely lose. Hell, they go. Come on, I only got like two uses out of that shit. Get my sword. Can't even try to get around him to swing. I should be dodging. Oh, he's got that defense now, too. Heal again. Give me, give me a bunch of those I can use. Oh, come on. Break out of that. Shit. Why did I lose my weapon? Whoa. What have time for this? Here's my combo! Whatever, 52. Taking that. Didn't do much damage, though. Possibly because I'm underleveled, like I said. Whatever, I'm here now. Shit. As soon as I was going for it, Take this! Ooh, you don't like it. Damn it, too late again. I'll get rid of some of y'all, too. Oh, what's he doing? Ooh. We're a sturdy motherfucker, I'll give you that. Oh, that was down again. real quick. Thank you for 
Come on. Open at them. Open at them. At least these things drop more. I've taken far too much damage here. Managed to get him though. Oh, it can transmute level 2 steel balls. I wasn't planning on doing another chapter of this, uh, but. Happy accident, I guess. I still gotta find the Watcher Call, though. I missed my chance. I'll have to go back and do that, I guess. Wow, 52, and it was still only two points. Really? Well, I, I still get the B. Well, that takes care of that! Phew, looks like everyone else is safe, too. What a relief. All in a day's work. But how could a beast that large, huh? What is it, Ed? Here they are again. Look. More pieces of the Crimson Stone. Monsters created by the arcane arts and pieces of the Crimson Stone. What's the connection? What are monsters from an ancient civilization doing in our time anyway? Uh, answers! I need answers! That's him! The guy we saw! Yeah, from Risenbul. Oh. So, you're the one who did this to the village, aren't you? Were you trying to do the same thing to Risenbul, too? What is your purpose for all of this? What was that transmutation circle for? I had a feeling we'd meet again someday. Damn it, pal. You got a bad habit of being cryptic. Uh, no, wait! No circles. Impressive young alchemist. Interesting. You have the same eyes. Brother! You should have realized you have no right to stop me. Crowley! That's you, isn't it? I knew it! There could be no mistaking you! Don't you recognize me? It's me! It's Arlen! I can't believe this! Crowley? No. <gasps> the Arlen I know is not a doddering old fool like you. What do you mean? You're talking nonsense! How many years do you think it's been? How can you still look so young? What happened to you? again. He just melted away. You're safe now, Lieutenant Havoc. So how are you faring after all of that? You all right? Does it look like I'm all right? Do me a favor and tell the Colonel to double my salary, will you? I mean, for God's sake. How come no one ever tells me how dangerous these missions are gonna be? <laughs> Anyway, Lieutenant Havoc, who's this with you? All oh, right, this is Mr. Arlen Glossner, a villager. I had taken him into protective custody. Reza Hawkeye from East Headquarters. Glad to see that you're all right, Mr. Glossner. Hog Swallow, all right? Does anything about this situation seem all right to you? Are there any other survivors? I don't know, but not very likely. 
Everyone's gone except me. Crowley, you fool. What have you done? Hey, Gramps! Huh? Yeah, you. Sounds like you knew that guy by name, am I wrong? Who is he? Come on, you're wasting time! Who the hell is this tactless little punk? This is Edward Elric, a state alchemist. Next to him is his brother, Alphonse. An alchemist? Out with the info! He appears out of nowhere and then just melts away! That guy's not exactly normal. Who is he? Did he do something to you, kid? So you do know him, right? Come on, old man, tell me! Please! Whatever he did sounds serious. Well, ain't no point in standing around out here. If you want to talk, let's go to my house. It's right there. Follow me. Hold it, Gramps. Is this your place? All these books belong to you? Of course they do. I've been an archaeologist for more than 50 years, believe it or not. Hey, Tin Man! Keep your clumsy gauntlets off my stuff, you hear? Um, so does archaeology include the study of those monsters, too? Monsters? Oh, you must mean the golems. Of course! The history of Lebes can't be told without them. What you guys are calling monsters are actually golems. Living dolls created through the Grand Arcanum of Lebes. Living dolls? That's right. The Grand Arcanum enabled them to breathe life into what were actually just dolls made out of mud. Breathe life into? That's impossible! Oh, but it is possible with the Grand Arcanum of Lebes. It's what's better known as alchemy today. You boys said you were alchemists. Well, golems were born through ancient alchemy, so... Alchemy? Oh no, Ed. Yeah, all right. I'm beginning to see now. So that guy we just saw out there is the lunatic who's still making those ancient beasts. Am I right, Gramps? <laughs> Got a mind like a steel trap, don't you? Well, you're right. You want to know about him? He's an alchemist, like you. His name is Jack Crowley. Him and I were best friends, studying Lebisic civilization together more than 50 years ago. Jack Crowley. Wait, 50 years ago? But he didn't look that... No, he didn't look old at all. He hadn't aged a bit. That's one detail I can't figure out. Any possibility it was a total stranger that just happened to look like him? Come to think of it, it seemed like that guy didn't recognize you. I know him better than anyone else. That was Crowley, no doubt about it. But... I don't think a normal human being can do the things he can. Oh. Well, it's no use arguing over whether that guy was really your buddy or not. What I want to know is his purpose. And why is a young punk like you so interested anyways? What's all this got to do with you? I saw him in my hometown of Rizimbul. He may have been trying to do the same thing there that he did here. And besides... That man may be responsible for the mass murder of the village. He may be involved in other cases, too. In other words, the military has good reason to apprehend him. Do you have any idea where we might find him? Where to find Crowley? <laughs> he may still be in Siam Sid, for all I know. Siam Sid? That's the royal capital of Lebus. Of course, it's been gone for centuries. Ain't nothing there but ruins now. So Siam Sid's our best bet, huh? Well, Lieutenant? That'll be our next stop. Mr. Glossner, could you lead us to Siam Sid? You guys are serious about this. <laughs> you whippersnappers may be the best chance it's come around yet. Fine, I'll take you guys there. I actually want to see Crowley too, just one more time.
gotta stop him. It's my fault that he became this way. Huh? Gramps, are you all right? All right, let's go then. It ain't that far from here to Siam Sid. Um, Lieutenant Hawkeye, what should I do? We'll only be scouting, so there's no need for a big group. I want you to report our plans to the Colonel. Yes, ma'am. Thank God I could finally go home. Hey, Ed. Are you thinking what I'm thinking about the Grand Arcanum and those golems? I'm way ahead of you. Let's hope we can find a clue about getting our bodies back. Again, wasn't planning on that, but somehow it <laughs> came about to me fighting uh, two bosses. I guess I'm splitting this one in half as well. I've been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> Making longer videos, well, at least this thing is able to let me do that. Uh, but in any case, I'll have to figure out the whole cat situation if there is one. You know, gut instincts tell me there's one every chapter, like I said. So either way, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Full Metal Alchemist 2, Curse of the Crimson Elixir.